strat from Omen Elite uh, going super aggressive and GG for that. They got rewarded very well. Uh, results based on where that train comes in from first. Really fun to watch this though, as you gotta be careful for that cart. It can deal a ton of damage and knock back any brawler that gets too close to it. So really affects the positioning of both of these players. I'm excited to now see Sprout coming back into action for both teams this time, Ark. Yeah, I was uh, literally just about to say the same thing, and that's uh, Star Power now making much more of an impact since the buff also. And look at these little shots that Corey's hitting. I wonder whether there's, there's still uh, an unintentional uh, defect in the game where you can actually bounce the shots and have them propel across the map. Uh, but nonetheless, shutting down that middle lane there, and Sky is forced to the left-hand side uh, towards Zulan then. Uh, but a good start for both teams. Uh, uh, three gems for now uh, to Omen Elite. Pretty balanced, but Sky looking very weird. Force back. Yeah, just like skipping rocks over a clear pool of water, tossing <laughs> yeah. sprout shots on the minecart can make it go really far if you get the perfect angle. And that is working so well for Corey right now. A five gem lead uh, right now as Chaos, uh, Cosmos Esports finally picking up uh, the rest of their gems on their side. Sky up on the top having a bit of a difficult time getting past that first line of bushes. And Corey has got a huge advantage now over. Uh, Cosmos Esports. Yeah, Corey and uh, his teammates doing a good job here to deter this push, but they've got to hold on and get this countdown and also defend it with their lives because Sky has got the ability to shut down from a distance and Corey has super the majority of the time it seems, but if left unchecked, uh, that, that will shut that down and uh, Corey will be leaving those gems on the map. Corey is walking along the Razor's edge in the super setting up and denying him the retreat option, but still playing so close to the opponents right within range of Sky, but not letting him get any shots off, taking him down. That's going to be a clear opportunity to retreat now. All 10 gems and the countdown has started, Ark. Yeah, countdown underway, 10 seconds, but Corey's actually a little bit low here and uh, not really able to pop gadget for heals, but luckily his teammates are there for the takedown. Tyrant Star and Zulan coming in there, and Tyrant is actually, uh, uh, he was actually relevant in that countdown, so did a good both of us. Looks like Cosmos Esports is instead going to go for that slam deal. It's caught, bringing in Jackie and Carl, making a risky play here, but they've got to do something, I guess, and maybe this is going to uh, be what exactly what they needed. Yeah, it's going to have to be a decision that they're going to have to do carefully around. Uh, the Minimum's actually doing a great job already pushing up, and this is what you're going to have to do to make the slam minutes work here is push up early on and get behind that wall. But already, look at this. Omen Elite's very much onto him already to get him shut down and now able to push back on the mid. But five gems in the meantime were banked, and this is going to have to be what Cosmos do here. They're going to have to continue this using Minimum to distract whilst they bank bolts. Otherwise, if this doesn't work out, it's, it's going to be really hard for them to be able to do much. Hit. Zulon caught in a really tricky spot there, but still is able to get the kill on Molly. Very nice job there on defense. Omen Elite holding on, and as soon as these Robo Porters start coming in, and as soon as that uh, healing turret gets set up, Zulon uh, is going to have a big advantage on the bottom. Omen Elite trying their best to get that avalanche of value, uh, but being really pushed back time and again. Moon Wong doing an amazing job at just pressure, pressure, pressure on this Omen Elite uh, back line. It's an advantage now on the gym count for K. Uh, Cosmos Esports, I can't call them. Cosmos Esports, but doing their best to keep that going. A uh, few lucky little gym spawns here and there is not going to be enough to give them the 10 they need for the countdown. Yeah, and what we've got to remember is that Minimum is using Gadget a lot of the time, and once that Gadget's gone, it really depletes his ability to push back on Omen Elite, and this is now why we're starting to see a little bit more of an even matchup as time keeps ticking, then the gems start going back into the hands of Omen, and uh, there's not really much that Minimum is able to do. Now, Mali going in desperately, trying to get some value here, and does get in a really good spot, but I think it's going to get eventually taken down as all three of Omen Elite focus their attention and back into the mid control. Huge shielding and beefy healing from Zulon as well, blocking all those big shots. It's hard to imagine that a car with a super right in front of you can deal so little damage, but that's exactly what we just saw. Omen Elite have got the countdown started, but it's not a decisive spot for them just yet. Cosmos Esports equalizes now with that 10 gem and they'll be able to get it going back in their favor. They're trapped! They're right behind the card and there's no escape! Big hit for Cosmos Esports and they'll get the countdown started again in their favor now. 12 gems up on the top for the red team and that might be enough to claim victory. An incredible suit from Miniwing and look at this. There's no way the Omen Elite can... Or maybe... What? <laughs> 
baby Corey over the, the long and bomb. me. <laughs> Great job to Corey there, but will that be enough for them to get back in the game? A huge gem lead right now for Cosmos Esports, and Molly is not giving up without a five. Five seconds left. Can they finish him off? There he goes! The countdown is over, but they can't get the gems. Corey and Tyrant are forced back, and they've got fewer gems than they started with on that last push. They've only got 10 seconds to do the unthinkable again. Can they get that countdown finished off? I think they're going to this no way at all. Sky is getting touched, but a valiant attempt from Owen to do something. I didn't even see it coming myself, but Nims and get back. That's what the grab and gym grab means, Ark. <laughs> that is very true. Uh, also worth mentioning as well, the, the difference in the meta shifting much more now towards uh, Sprout's second star power for Synthesis is not one that we've really ever seen much being played and now definitely appears to be the more favored of the two as a, a quick takedown on Miniwung, uh, who's now actually gone towards Pam in this game and uh, dropped the Jackie card. And um, I kind of feel that might be a mistake. Trying to keep Omen obviously on their toes here but is that going to be at an exception to the to the winning of this game yeah i also want to point out the introduction of these uh, little stanchions over on the right and bottom right and top left side you're not able to walk over those but you can shoot over them kind of like water uh, so that's providing some additional blocking here but opening up the map uh, a bit more overall for omen elite uh, to get some damage in there. You can see Corey still popping so many shots off right into the center there, trying to shut down uh, the pushes from Pam, who hasn't been able to set up a healing turret on either side. Big advantage for Omen Elite in the early stage of this game arc. Big suck as well from Tyrant on the right-hand side, getting Moon taken down, actually goes down himself, but nonetheless, Corey and Zula now able to really nicely pinch this left-hand side as Mali goes down. This has Omen Elite written all over it, Woody. Yeah, when you're that far ahead, a trade tyrant for Min Wung is an easy one to make and definitely in Omen Elite's favor. All they need is one more gym and they'll get that countdown going. Zulin's going to grab the 10th one and he's within that healing turret range. Gets topped off a little bit more up to 1460 and he's safe now. Minecart going through the center of the range means that there's no chance for Cosmos Esports to catch back up. Omen Elite have taken the second set arc. Yeah, great, great play. Zulian was actually relevant in the countdown, but it was honestly such a controlling countdown. There was no way that uh, really Cosmos had a chance to come 